Electric and Magnetic Forces and the Modern Day Compass. If you go camping, chances are there won't be any street signs to help direct you. That's why you need a compass to help you find your way using the power of electric magnetic force. What is electromagnetic force? Electromagnetic force is the interaction responsible for almost everything in daily life. Magnets are objects that produce an area of magnetic force called a magnetic field. Magnetic fields by themselves are invisible to the human eye. Magnets attract or pull objects made with iron or other metals. If you went camping, you'd use electromagnetic force to help you find the campsite and other things located at specific points. How does a compass work? If you were trying to find your way in the forest, you would always hold it flat and look to the red end of the needle, which always points north. This end points to the strongest magnetic field, which is the Earth's magnetic north pole in the Canadian Arctic. If you needed to go southwest or northeast, you just check where those directions are in relation to where you are standing and head in that direction to get there. Opposites attract. Even though magnet, magnets come can come in different shapes, strengths, and sizes, they all have a north and a south pole, just like the Earth has north and south poles. These ends of the magnets are the most powerful and opposite magnetic poles attract. So the north part of the needle actually points toward the south pole of a magnet. This is because the needle is a magnet itself, and the red end that points toward the north is the needle's south pole, which is attracted to the Earth's magnetic north. Fun fact. Earth itself is a very weak magnet. The Earth's liquid core is believed to be a mix alloy of iron and nickel, giving the Earth its own magnetic field. Question one. Which detail from the passage best supports the conclusion that compasses can help you if you are lost? A, if you go camping, chances are they won't, there won't be any street signs to help direct you. B, if you were trying to find your way in the forest, you would always hold it flat and look at the red end of the needle, which always points north. If you needed to go southwest, C, if you needed to go southwest or northeast, you'd just check where those directions are in the relation to where you are standing and head in the direction to get there. D, this is because the needle is a magnet itself, and the red end that points toward north is the needle's south pole, which is, which is attracted to the Earth's magnetic north. Number two, the author uses a word that means a particular way in which matter, fields, and particles affect one another in the text. Underline the word in the paragraph that best shows that meaning. Electromagnetic force is the interaction responsible for almost everything in daily life. Magnets are objects that produce an area of magnetic force called a magnetic field. Magnetic fields by themselves are invisible to the human eye. Magnets, magnets attract or pull objects made with iron or other metals. Number three, how should you hold a compass? A, flat. B, pointing straight up. C, slanting downwards. D, up to the sun. Number four, which sentence best shows the main idea of the passage? A, Compasses are able to show directions because of electromagnetic forces. B. The Earth is a magnet and so has electromagnetic fields. C. Electromagnetic forces are powerful and useful. D. Compasses are made with magnets. Number five. Which sentence from the passage best states the main idea? A. That's why you need a compass to help you find your way using the power of electromagnetic force. B. Electromagnetic force is the interaction responsible for almost everything in daily life. C. These ends of the magnets are the most powerful and opposite magnetic poles attract, so the north part of the needle 
actually points towards the south pole of a magnet. D. Earth itself is a very weak magnet.